post-COVID era is in fact a beginning of new digitally augmented age um, in which paradigms are shifting. Digitization alone has the potential to become the impetus for the economic growth and development that the CE demands. Through this, we wanted to highlight the profound challenges as well as opportunities um, for digitalization in the region, which the COVID crisis, we believe, have, has only accentuated. And we also brought together economic, geopolitical and security, namely cybersecurity cyber aspects of digitalization, focusing on our region. The key takeaway from our report is that the more developed and resilient the CE countries are, the more prosperous, safe and resilient this will make the entire European Union and, in fact, also uh, NATO. The COVID pandemic has accelerated digitalization uh, accelerated uh, acquiring of digital skills. It has also exposed some shortcomings and risks. We have to increase our role in the European standard setting as Eastern and, and, and Central European um, uh, countries, but also in several areas, Europe has to strengthen its position, for example, space data uh, standard setting that is, that is currently uh, not under the com control of the, of the European experts. We should recognize the presence of also of national strategies that will support both digital transformation and cybersecurity capabilities development. This is a completely asymmetric type of transformation. In the past, uh, uh, heavy transformations required a lot of resources, a lot of, of course, natural engagements. In case of the digital transformation, it's more about ideas. It's more, to, more, more about minds, mindsets, of course, the changes in our mindsets. Digital skills growth, that's something we have to really focus on. Um, we, we know that technology as well, it's, it's, it's changing very fast and that's something what we uh, also need to continuously learn and, and, and adopt. I believe personally that we really need to increase our uh, self-sufficiency self or sovereignty in digital world. But we must not do it uh, at the expense of our strategic uh, security alliances, which are uh, taking the form of transatlantic cooperation within the NATO. Just three, three, three points. Harmonized uh, regulation, standardization, and, and uh, European Cyber and Security Center for Competences. This is, this is, I think, the way how we should proceed.